Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well considering the circumstances that uh, are going on on our planet today. It is quite quite the uh, unique experience that uh, obviously I don't think any of us have ever gone through. And um, it's understandable to feel, you know, a little bit anxious, nervous, fearful, you know, wondering where this road is going, um, what is it going to mean to our lives, um, you know, various things. Uh, and it's easy to be afraid, you know, it's really easy to be in fear and to be afraid, and uh, it's very understandable. You know, we as humans, of course, we love to we love to know. We love to feel like we're in control of what's what's coming at us, um, you know, because then we feel more safe and secure. And um, you know, sometimes life just doesn't allow us to to be in that place, <laughs> and um, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. In my personal life experience, I know that when I've been what feels like somewhat forced by life out of my comfort zone. The initial experience is fear of, oh my gosh, where is this going? I just want to know what's happening. What's my next step? Um, what I have found is that it's in that place of discomfort and the unknowing where life is asking us to grow and to stretch and um, even though we think we like to be in our comfort zone, our comfort zone is really not healthy <laughs> in the biggest picture. Um, because life is always changing, it's always growing, it's always expanding, it's always moving. And, um, you know, I think of animals and they just, we call it instinct, but they just move with it. You know, they just feel the energy and they move with it. And, um, you know, for some reason we call it, with animals, we call it instinct, but it's really their intuition. And, and we have that same, same intuition, that same instinct. But we've been so programmed from little on to ignore that, to, to not trust in the flow of life. And we've been taught to be in our heads about everything and to, you know, want to, again, feel like we have control and so that we can manipulate our circumstances so that we won't be caught off guard and that we can stay what we feel like we can stay in our power. And when we don't have that, we feel like we are out of our power. And um, But in my experience, my intuition, when I really tune in, tune into my heart, tune into my gut, and I trust and I have faith, what I have learned over and over and over again is that our heart and our intuition is tapped into something bigger than what our minds can conceive. We are tapped into the universal flow of energy. And, and when we can trust and move into that place, uh, we become a part of the natural flow of life. We become a part of the, the river, so to speak, and we move with it. And it's like the analogy that I use is that a lot of times in life we, we go against our intuition, we go against that flow, and what it's like is it's like we're swimming upstream and we're working so hard going against the current. The river's going this way, but we're, you know, life is, is moving this way, but we're wanting to fight it and we're wanting it because we want it, we want to, we have an idea of how it needs to be. And so in essence, we are, in all of our trying to control and manipulate, we are swimming up that stream, we are fighting the current. And what do you, what happens is we become overwhelmed fatigued, exhausted, experience dis-ease, when really 
what life is always asking of us. Always, 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 it's asking us to allow ourselves to turn over in the river and to float on our back and allow the river, allow the flow, allow life to support us and let it take us where it's the whole is, is moving. Does that make sense? It takes a lot less effort. It takes a lot of trust. It takes a lot of faith. It takes surrendering, letting go of our need to control, even in the uncertainty when we want to fight to know. And again, in my experience in my life, when I have allowed myself to trust in my intuition, in my heart, in other words, to turn over onto my back and allow the river to carry me, and trusting that it knows where it's going, it's tapped into something bigger that my mind can't always see and comprehend. But I'm going to trust and I'm going to have faith and I'm going to go into the unknown and I'm going to stay present and I'm going to stay anchored and I'm going to believe that my heart knows better. With my experience with cancer, never, ever, 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 ever have I been given the opportunity to that degree to trust, to stay out of fear. As you can imagine, if you've been there yourself, or you can just, you know, imagine. It was the darkest, darkest night of my soul. The fear was right there in my face every day, you know, facing death, you know, because we hear cancer and that's what you automatically assume is death. It's impending. Um, and I never in my life had to practice to such the degree of to stay out of fear because fear creates stress in our bodies, in our beings. And that stress creates cortisol production from our adrenal glands, which over time wears down our immune system. And it literally breaks down our body. Our body cannot heal when we're in fear. Our body can only heal when it's in a place of peace, rest and digest, the relaxation response of the nervous system. So I had to do everything, my practice, during those three months, if I was to heal naturally, which was my choice. I had to, it became my practice every moment of every day to stay present, to stay in my breath, to stay in my heart, to stay in the present, to stay calm, to stay peace in my place of peace, and to remind myself of the joy in life. I would focus on the joy because joy is a vibration that uplifts us, that actually boosts the immunity, allows us to heal on many levels. And I mean, you want to talk about a time of uncertainty? Ugh. I often didn't know where the next day, sometimes the next moment, was taking me. But what I found, and what my intuition and that inner voice kept saying, that higher voice kept saying, is just trust, just stay present. Just keep stepping into this moment, into this moment, into this moment, and your path will be revealed. I couldn't, the circumstances didn't allow me to even project a day ahead of time. I just had to stay present and trust and have faith like never before. So 
what my message to you today is, is as hard as it can feel, I invite you to stay present, stay in your heart, stay in your faith, trust one moment at a time. Here's another thing. In all adversity of life, and in my experience, the darkest night of the soul often brings the most amazing gifts. Gifts we would have never had had we not, had life not asked us to walk through these times, these challenging times. So my message to you is, it's going to be okay. And instead of being in fear, I invite you to be curious. Be open. Keep your mind open. Keep your heart open. Look to where you can create a more peaceful world around you. And we all have that capability. We do. You're thinking, oh, I can't do I don't know if I can do that. Yes, you can. We all can. And we do it by centering, breathing deep. Inhale, exhale through the nose, into the lungs, into the heart. Take a few moments to just do that, to focus, eyes closed. Just that alone immediately sends a signal to that our nervous system that it can calm down, that it can relax. In the presence is our power. In the presence is the gifts. So, I know these are challenging times. But as I see it, I believe that Mother Earth needed to give us all, humanity, a time out. <laughs> Just like we have to give a little kids time out sometimes because they're getting unruly and out of control. Sometimes we just need to be like, set down, chill a little bit. And I believe that Mother Earth is saying to us all, as a human race, as a human species, you've all gotten a little bit out of control. You've all gotten a little bit unruly, irritable with each other, fighting each other. I mean, human beings have been fighting each other from the beginning of time. We are capable of so much more, so much more. So I think Mother Earth is saying to us all, listen, children, listen. I'm sorry I have to do this, but we all need a little bit of uh, reassessing here, a recalibration to Remind us of our hearts and to what is really important in life. Love, connection with our loved ones. Finding your joy. It's not out there in the world. It's in here. But because of all the distraction of our outer world, we forget that it's in here. All of those things out there, they don't bring us the true fulfillment. It's our connection with each other, our connection with our heart and our own soul, our connection with the divine, our connection with planet Earth, Mother Earth. We're all one. We're all one. So stay in your hearts. When we heal our heart of that fear, and that belief that we're separate, that belief that we're separate, we heal ourselves and we heal the world around us. And that's what the world needs is us to trust in our hearts, trust in life. Be a little bit uncomfortable because there's gifts there. It's stretching us. It's growing us. It's all good. We're going to get through. Okay? So reach out to me if I can help you in any way through some meditations, through some breathing, through some coaching. Um, However I can help you, I am here to serve. All right. Make it a great day, team. We have the power to make it a great day. Okay.
Love and blessings to all.